Hi everyone, welcome back to Easy Cooking with Linda B. Today I am going to make for you a cherry angel food trifle. This dessert is just so delicious and it's perfect for any holiday and any gathering and picnics in the summer, anytime, or even if you just feel like having a dessert like this. So what I will do is I'll show you how I put it all together. So for this recipe, what you will need is store-bought angel food cake. I actually thought about making my own, but when I looked at the price of the box mix, I said, forget it. It costs just as much as this, so that was a no-brainer. And you will also need one eight-ounce package of cream cheese, you will need a cup of confectioner sugar. And this particular recipe calls for pecans, but I'm going to be serving this up to my future daughter-in-law, Laura, and she's allergic to certain nuts, but almonds she is not. So what I have here is a half a cup of chopped almonds, which I toasted in the oven with a little bit of butter and salt cook them, bake them for about 10 minutes and they you got a nice golden brown look to them. And also I'm going to need a 16 ounce or two 8 ounce containers of uh, whipped topping. And then I'm also going to need two cans of cherry pie filling. Now what I'm going to do is I'll show you how I put this all together. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I cut my cake here, just so that we can get uh, nice cubes to mix with the cream cheese and the whipped topping. I came across this recipe probably about 15 plus years ago, and I said, oh my goodness, that looks amazing. So I decided to try it. And at that time, one of my cousins was having a big 4th of July party at her home and I said you know what I'm gonna try this and I bought probably about four of these and I made double the uh, the batch because the recipe called for less than what I'm showing you here and I put it in a big punch bowl and I'll tell you at the end of the day that bowl was scraped clean it was amazing. Everybody just absolutely loved this recipe and I have been making it ever since and so have a few of my friends who've had this recipe. So now I'm just cutting these into chunks or cubes trying to do my best. Angel food cake is very soft. It's actually very good. It's made with egg whites which is good. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these cubes and put it in my big bowl here. It'll be fun when it comes time to be mixed, but you'll see how I'll do it. Okay, so now I'm done cutting up my angel food cake. So now in this bowl, I have my cream cheese and I'm going to take my confectioner sugar and I'm going to blend it with the cream cheese. And you want to make sure you blend this together so it's completely incorporated and until smooth. This will take a few minutes. Okay. So now you can see it's completely combined. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my whipped topping and add it to the cream cheese. I think I'm going to reserve a little for the top. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully combine this these ingredients together. 
I want to distribute that cream cheese throughout the whipped topping. Okay, now what I'm going to do also, to make sure it's all combined, I'm going to fold everything together in case the beaters didn't get to the very bottom and mix it well with a cool whip or whipped topping. All right, now the next thing I'm going to do is combine my almonds with my angel food cake and yes I had to change it to another bowl there was just no way I could mix this all together so I'm going to sprinkle this in here and then I'm going to add my whipped topping cream cheese mixture to the angel food cake Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold these together. I want to make sure all the angel food cake is completely coated. I'm going to escape me there. My counter is clean. Okay, so now I have the whipped topping cream cheese mixture mixed in with the angel food cake. And now what I'm going to do is assemble my trifle. This is a traditional trifle bowl. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to scoop out the mix and I'm gonna place it on the bottom of the bowl. Just like that. I'm gonna leave a little bit of gapping on the sides. You'll see why. Okay, here's where the magic is going to begin. I'm going to take my cherry pie filling and I'm going to spread it across the top of this layer, having it come down the sides. That's why I did not want to close up the sides with the cake. Get every bit of that out of the can. Okay. And now, looks pretty good, doesn't it? We'll clean things up at the end. And then I'm going to take the rest of the mixture and I'm going to place it on top. I'm going to take the other can of cherries Smooth it out on top. Now, of course, you don't have to use cherries if you don't like. You can also use blueberry pie filling. Um, and there's also strawberry pie filling. Or you could even get fresh strawberries, slice them. Mix them with some sugar, let them macerate so it pulls the liquid out of the strawberries and you can use that as your topping. Whatever you desire, you can make it your own. In fact, if you do make this, please send me a picture or a short video so I can post it to my next video.
and show off your talents. And so what I'm going to do is just place dollops on top just for a prettier presentation. You, of course, you could pipe these out with a star chip in a plastic bag if you like. Which is probably what I should have done. there's a blank space you could fill it in. There. And there you have it. Cherry Angel Food Trifle. Hope you enjoyed watching this video of me putting together this beautiful dessert. And one thing I failed to mention is make sure that you refrigerate this for several hours before you serve it so everything comes together. So thank you so much for watching my video. If you like my channel, please hit the like button and subscribe. This way you'll get my notifications by hitting that bell. Thank you all so much. I really do appreciate every one of you who comes in to see me and leaves me a comment. So remember, if you do make something of mine and you'd like for me to show it on our next video, please send me a picture or a video and I'll post it on the next video. You could send it to my email address at easycookingwithlindab at gmail.com, which is in the description box below. So remember, always enjoy life, never stop learning, and please take care. Bye now.